when you are being sent mixed revisions, mm -hmm. what do you feel is a reasonable amount of revisions when you're given a, you know, a, a certain price for a song or a project or something sure. like that? And then uh, part two of that question, um, would you prefer a super long, detailed, over-explanatory list from the client uh, you know, when they when they start giving you mixed revisions, sure. Um, or would you? Do you prefer a? You know, it, I, I know everybody hopes to send their mix out, and you know the client just loves it when they first get yeah. it, kind of thing. Um, but would you prefer like a little more hands off so that you have more time to sit with mm. it, like you were saying from mm -hmm. the from the previous question? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, so there's a couple of things about that. To answer your first question, um, I, this is actually part of my sales pitch when I'm, when I'm talking to a band, you know, even if I'm just mixing for them or if I'm producing and mixing. One, one of the ways that I try to reel people in and one thing that I've done with some success for the past, you know, five or six years uh, is to just say, you know, I, I'm going to say five years because at the beginning I didn't do this. You know, I had a, you know, I had it written into a big contract that I would send out to them that you get three mix revisions, you know, because at that stage I was working for pretty cheap trying to build my, you mm -hmm. know, build my client list. And, and, uh, and largely I did, I was just a beginner. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and so it sort of scared me that I'd be working on a song forever trying mm -hmm. to do revisions and revisions and revisions. So I put a limit on it. But once I got, pretty comfortable with mixing and started to feel like, oh, this actually sounds pretty good. I quit doing that altogether. I, so I don't have, I don't have a limit to revisions. I will <laughs> revise a song endlessly with a client. And I think that probably scares some people. They're like, oh man, you're going to get really, really trapped into, in, in, into mixing the song forever, you know? And, and certainly that's always a possibility. That's never, ever happened to me. Uh, I've never been mixing a song, and I just thought this is ridiculous. They're asking for so many things. More and cowbell. I, yeah, they're yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just keep going back with the same thing. Uh, partly, I also feel like that. And what I say when I'm pitching to a band is, you know, you're you're. You, I want to nail the song again. I'm coming coming back to that. I want to nail it. I want you to be into it. I want you to think it's great, and I want you to feel like that I did a good job with it. And so, don't be afraid to ask for more revisions. If you think that it's not right yet, if you don't feel like that it's perfect, tell me, and I'll make it that way. So that's the first thing. I I don't I don't like mixed revisions. I think that it's a dumb thing to do. I think that it's it's not a good move. I I don't think that it's actually professional. I think it's you trying to box the client into this is what I think sounds perfect. And I think that um, it's all, it could be, um, I might step on some toes by saying this, but I think it could be a little bit of a good litmus test that if you're getting to mix revision eight or 10 or 12, that you might need to go back uh, to the drawing board and maybe either start over fresh on the mix or you might, there might be something, it might be a good point for you to ask for help from another more experienced mix engineer and, and somebody that you trust, somebody that cares for you as a mixer, as a producer that's gonna tell you the truth. I can't tell you how much that has helped me time and time again, that the people that are my mentors, I've had the freedom to go to them, ask for help, and that I can trust their opinion of my work and know that they um, aren't trying to hurt my feelings and that they're gonna help me get better. And so, you know, that's this is a really long way to say, I don't think you should do mixed revisions. I think that you should get good enough that the revisions are, that the band is into the mix and that the revisions that you're doing are just usually the little things that they want to hear more and more. I, I will tell one little story. I did do a song very early on, at least, um, five or so years ago, I had a band that I was mixing a song for, and um, I wasn't nailing the snare sound, honestly. And, and I think we went to eight, maybe nine revisions on that song, and it was mostly because the drummer was just really, really unsatisfied with the snare sound. Yeah, there was there were mixed revisions in there that had uh, a really dark, explodey sound and snare sample that I put on there to try to beef it up, and that didn't sound right to him because he tunes his snare really high and it's a very short decay, and mm -hmm. so that sounded wrong and weird to him. It was powerful, 
And it was mostly just, and, and, and it kind of, it, it might have worked, but it wasn't his preference. And so that, you know, wasn't working for him. And then by mix four or five, I had taken all the samples away. And so then they were like, oh, now it sounds better because the samples are gone. But they're like, this is weird and this is weird. And the, the more that I went back and tried to re- work on that kick and snare sound, mostly the snare, but some of the kick too, to try to get them to work together. The band just didn't, they weren't into it, you know? And I I don't know if they just settled, you know, and got tired of doing revisions. I would have done more if they kept asking for it, but by like eight or nine or wherever we got to, they, they, finally, they finally were fine with it. And it was mostly centered around that one thing. But I think, I think it's just, um, you know, I can remember going to my friend Neil and being like, hey man, you know, I'm just not nailing this. And the band is like, you know, he's like, oh, I think the snare sound is fine. But he's like, here, you could do this and this and this. And he gave me like three or four pointers. And by the time that I got that advice, that's what ended up helping me be able to mix it to where the band finally accepted the mix. So I think don't have revisions. And then what was your second question? There was a second part to that. I don't know if I touched oh, on it. Oh, the... Uh, uh Detailed list? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I like to get it somewhat of a detailed list. I usually ask for one specific thing, and I think that this is probably a good practical tip. I usually ask for them if they are going to get really specific to give me things like timestamps. You know, if they're, if there's a part that they're not feeling, you know, sometimes the band will be like, hey, you know that one guitar part right before the chorus? Well, that doesn't help me because there might be four or five guitars going on <laughs> at that. That's just silly. Uh, so usually I ask them to give me timestamps and that helps me to zero in on what specific thing that they want, you know, to be louder, quieter, whatever it is. And so I, I try to be, if they're going to give me, if I think they're going to give me a detailed list, I try to be specific in what I ask for and make sure that I get, um, get the details that are going to help me go right to the spot and find it quickly and make the revision and then move on. And so usually what I'll do is I'll get all their revisions and put it in a Google Doc and put it on bullet points. And then I'll go through and I'll have that, doc, that Google Doc up while I'm going through the song mm -hmm. and I'll make the revision and then I'll race it off the Google Doc. And so if there's still stuff on that Google Doc, I know I haven't done it yet. And I'll, you know, I'll make sure that I make those, those revisions and then, then I'll send it to the band at that point. Yeah. So... Well, that's awesome. It really depends on the band too. You know, some bands are going to give you that, and you'll get. Uh, I've got mixed revisions to do for a band right now, and I have pages. I have four. It's a four song EP, and I have four pages of notes to go with it. And so, and, and that's fine. That's that's who that band is, and they're they're being very detailed. And then I've had other ones where, you know, it's three songs, and there's like five bullet points on a the thing. They're like, in this song, do this, and this song, do this, and in this song, do this. The vocal's too loud. This is too. You know, it's they're more broad. So, it really, just depends on the band. 